It has been a very difficult uh, journey to get here. Remember, I've been here before, and to come back a second time, you have to go over so many hurdles. So, uh, within the party, it's been it was tough, and of course, um, with f uh, 15 other political parties, it's been very extremely tough. So, it is quite a gratifying thing to to know that you've won the election and um, I just I'm very pleased about that and I want to use this opportunity to thank all Surreal Indians, those who voted for me and those who didn't vote for me. Uh, it is my responsibility and uh, the task I have now is to make sure that those who didn't vote for me have a good reason to vote for me the next time. And uh, Again, I think it's, it's also an opportunity for me to, to let everybody in this country know that um, I am not just for SLPP. I am for every Sierra Union, and no Sierra Union should feel threatened by my ascension to power. I am not going to discriminate. National cohesion is very much a part of my program. It is not only in my manifesto. I want to allay the fears of all Australians that um, I'm here for everybody. You should rest assured that um, I am not going to do anything against any political party or any individual or anybody from regions that are different from where I come from. When you have a challenge that is national, uh, you have to get your heads around it, and that is what I am going to do. It is not going to be easy. Uh, people are not going to believe me at first, but when they will come to realize that I mean what I say, then they, we will be able to get to where we want to get to. And um, in terms of employment, in terms of um, entry into the military, the police and other services, we ha there has to be a standard criteria and that is what we'll go by. I'm not going to do ethnic cleansing uh, by making sure that, you know, politicizing institutions or making sure that only people from one ethnic group work in any particular institution. Those who are most qualified to provide the services uh, that are demanded of that institution will be allowed to work there because who want to move forward. Well before today I've always said that um, nobody needs to be afraid of election and uh, I have warned all supporters, anybody who behaves outside of that prescription is definitely acting against the laws of this country and the police should not hesitate to take um, uh, action. Elections are over, the results have been announced. We should be one country, one people. We should proceed with life as normal. Uh, attacking anybody is not necessary. It's not going to change the result of this election. So I think this is another opportunity for me to say to everybody that um, there's no need for violence. There's no need for attacks, even to accost anybody. What we should be paying attention now is how can we come back together? I remember when Kennedy said um, he will land a, a human being on the moon, everybody said he was dreaming. When I said I will come back to the State House using the ballots, they said, no, you only know bullets. So, um, 
It's a dream come true.